So it seems like it's just a morning full of babies. And we've got a tiny little guy up ahead. We're just going to edge a little bit closer. Now, I know James was talking about baobab trees. And, of course, these elephants, unfortunately for them, have never experienced the joy of a baobab tree. But in other parts of Africa, baobabs make a very important part of an elephant's dry season diet. Now, a baobab tree, unlike a lot of the trees we get here, doesn't have uh, sort of the same system to transport nutrients up to the rest of the tree. So elephants can actually completely debark the whole of the baobab tree and then be able to still, the tree can keep growing. Hello, mom. Oh, look how sweet it is. smelling us. Look at his, his, oh, he or she, I can't see just yet. Oh, I thought it was giving us a sniff, now it's found something to play with. Now, this little guy is young, very young, it hasn't mastered the, the art of the trunk yet. He's got a very particular forehead, this little elephant. See, old before its time, wrinkly forehead. So we had a wrinkly bottom, haven't seen or it's probably got harder to see as it's got older but now we've got a, a wrinkly forehead and if we look at look at that it's very distinct it looks very wrinkly for a little one and it's also got quite a bit of hair on its head but from a wrinkly forehead to a far better looking not better looking a far more streamlined creature with james 